With over 500 million downloads, Truecaller is one of the most popular apps on the Google Play Store. And uh, if you're like me, then you're probably using the app just to find out the phone number associated with the name. And if you're a passive user, trust me, you're missing out on a lot of truly awesome features, no pun intended. Well, I'm Ashraf from Mr. Phone, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at 13 tips and tricks for Truecaller, which will turn you from a casual user into a pro user. P.S. The final 13th trick is actually a twist in the tail. So without wasting any more time, let's get this video started. But before we move on, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to get notified whenever Mr. Phone puts out an awesome new tech video. Also, if you've been following us for a while, you know that we already have a community on Telegram. And if you want to talk with like-minded people, then don't forget to go check out that community in the description below. And we also have a community on Instagram, links to which should also be available in the description below. By the way, before we start off with this video, I have a small suggestion for you guys. Please go and sign up for the beta version of Truecaller and download that because quite a few features that I mentioned in this video will be available in the beta version. And uh, to actually document it, out here we're recording this video uh, on May 6th uh, 2020 now for the first tip while you can search for a phone number or you know the name associated with the phone number or the details associated with the phone number by just typing on the keypad or you know by you know copying and pasting from the call that you get there is another easier method to do it and that is image search. All you need to do is hit the search bar and then you'll see this tiny icon with a camera and uh, you know just hit on that, take a picture of any number in the wild and immediately Truecaller will pull up that information for you. What this means is that it definitely reduces the number of steps involved in finding the number itself. So essentially it's just one click point the number in the wild and you have your uh, information right in front of your eyes. So the next time you're at an event and somebody hands you out a contact card, you know what to do. Take your phone out, hit that image search and you're good to go. Now Truecaller has one of the most extensive blocking features out there for any app that I've tested till date. In fact, if you have any app that does it better, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll definitely check it out for you guys. But did you know that uh, you're using Truecaller, you can also block the incoming notifications for any blocked caller. I mean, that is why you block them in the first place so that you don't get disturbed. And I find this very convenient. Now it is switched on by default. So to switch it off, open the hamburger menu, head into settings, tap on block, scroll down and activate the notifications for blocked calls option. Obviously Truecaller has an extended list of blocking options like I mentioned in the previous tip, uh, but if you're a gold or a premium user, you get three extra options, which actually makes it even better. You can automatically update top spammers and use an extended top spammer list as well. You can also block the 140 series telemarketers. So yeah, go wild in the block page of the settings and tune your experience accordingly. So if you've been using WhatsApp for a while, you know that you can back up a lot of data on Google Drive. Similarly, you can do that for Truecaller as well, where you can back up your data to Google Drive. So data like history, contacts, you know, your call list and your block list, all of that can be saved on Google Drive. So when you're switching from one device to other, your information stays put. All you need to do is set the frequency, determine if you want to do it over Wi-Fi or cellular or both, add a Google account and voila, you're good to go. Another new feature in Truecaller is called flash messaging. You can switch it on from the general settings page. I urge you to do it because it is pretty convenient to send your locations, important texts, photos, and fun emojis to other Truecaller users in a flash. These disappearing messages flash on the screen and the recipient has a limited time to respond to it. Think of it like a snap, but slightly more volatile.
One of the most popular features in apps these days is a dedicated dark mode. Obviously, Truecaller gives you that option too and puts it right at the heart of the hamburger menu where you cannot miss it. So Truecaller has a variety of badges for its users. The first one is the verified badge that you get once Truecaller can verify your identity from a different social platform, for example, Facebook. Similarly, if you're a gold user, you get a gold badge. And finally, you can see timestamps of when a person was active on Truecaller. This timestamp is dynamic too. So if a person is on a call, the stamp actually changes the animation accordingly. All pretty damn useful. Now, if you're on the beta build, like I asked you to download at the start of the video, there is one really cool feature that is gonna come out soon to every user out there, and that is full screen caller ID. Head into the caller ID page inside the settings app and toggle the full screen caller ID option. The only catch is for this to work, you need to make Truecaller the default phone app. But default Truecaller has sound and vibration enabled for the dialer. If you like me find this annoying, all you need to do is head into the general settings page to and uh, tune the settings as per your need. I prefer vibration feedback only on flagship phones with good haptic feedback, otherwise I switch it off. Now Truecaller's charm is also the fact that you can use it in a regional language of your choice. From Hindi to Marathi to Tamil, uh, Truecaller supports a plethora of Indian regional languages. You can find the setting in language settings too. With Truecaller, the Swedish company that makes it has big ambitions, one of which is payments. Now the one payments feature that could be useful for a large chunk of folks using the app is the option to avail instant loans. You will see a large banner for instant loans when you reach the payments page. You can get a loan starting from rupees 10,000 to rupees 5 lakhs. This money is sent directly to your account is, and is generally collateral free and you need to have a basic salary of at least 30,000 rupees. Truecaller is providing these loans with lending partner MoneyView. While Truecaller doesn't throw up many ads, a few do pop up once in a while. In case you want to stop these ads, that's possible too. You need to go to the privacy center in settings and uncheck the two options in control how ads appear to you function. The final trick, the one that I mentioned was a twist in the tail, is one that is not gonna make you a pro user, but it's gonna help you delete the app and your credentials from Truecaller entirely. And this is understandable, considering the fact that most people on account of privacy might not want to share their phone number with apps out there. Now that's despite however useful that app is, you know, including Truecaller. In case you are somebody who values your privacy a lot, then first you need to head into settings, then privacy center and deactivate your number. However, if you want to completely delete your profile from Truecaller so that no one else can get your information or your number, you can do that too. Once you have deactivated your number, you need to go to the Truecaller unlist page. Now this is a separate URL which should flash on your screen right now and I will link that in the description below. Now once you're there, add your number, hit the unlist button and wait for 24 hours. Your phone number will not be accessible to anyone after that. So these were 13 tips and tricks that would you know, help you turn from a casual Truecaller user to a pro Truecaller user. Now, do you think that these tips were helpful? Do you think that you're gonna use them and elevate your Truecaller experience? Do let me know in the comment section below. Until next time, this is Ashar from Mr. Phone signing off. Goodbye and Godspeed, my friends.